Hi, I'm Juanita Segura, a patient advocate for Lung Cancer Foundations of America. Hi, my name is Alice Berger, and I'm a lung cancer researcher at Fred Hutchinson Cancer Research Center in Seattle, Washington. Hi, Alice, and thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Juanita. It's great to be here. <laughs> You're welcome. Okay, I would like to know what drew you to do research for non-smoking women. Well, I really noticed that in existing lung cancer studies, most of the patients that were involved and most of the samples that were characterized were from people with a history of smoking. So I felt like that population was really underrepresented in existing um, studies. And I thought we had the opportunity to really learn something new and help additional people that might not have therapies um, available for their type of cancer right now. Yes, that's very important. I agree. Is the population increasing? Yes, there's some um, data supporting the idea that the population of, with, of women with lung cancer that have never smoked is increasing. The proportion is definitely increasing. And so as more and more people have stopped smoking, we see that people are still getting lung cancer, and especially in women for some reason. The rate is even higher in women than men um, that have never smoked. Okay, that's great. How do you hope your research will make an impact? We hope to identify new therapeutic targets. So we think that the sample sizes that have been analyzed in previous studies are too small, um, specifically for women who have never smoked. And so we're increasing the number of samples that have been sequenced, and we think we might find new drug targets in addition to the known ones, such as EGFR, ALK, RET, and ROS1. Okay, that's awesome, amazing information. Thank you so much, Alice, for joining us. Thank you, Anita.